Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how you can um, train your PyTorch model and uh, how to convert that uh, PyTorch model into Onyx model and using that Onyx model in on with Onyx runtime. The advantage of Onyx runtime is to deploy the Onyx inference into various languages from several frameworks like for instance um, yeah, you can you can work with PyTorch and you can export it to Onyx in uh, Onyx format or you could work with uh, TensorFlow or probably those are the only two frameworks I know how, or I have worked with and if you know more please do add to the book there. and in here I want to show you is um, so this is the basic uh, uh, I have a simple data set that consists of uh, Iris data set and what I'm throwing, doing is I have simply created a model and I would be training and if you just want to see this is the training loop that I have created and uh, just let it press it. So what really matters is that you can use any type of architecture you want and I'm just going to focus on like the training model. Once the model is trained and you'll be saving your uh, .pdh extension so you 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 have saved your model dot uh, idis dot pdh. So once you have trained it, you will save this model. And afterwards, what you want to do is that you want to convert this dot uh, dot pdh extension to the Onyx extension. So you could um, use this inference to any language you want. Um, in order to do that, uh, what you can do is that you could simply load the model, and after you load it. And you have to set a uh, the input dimension, and uh, you have to export. So basically, the torch provides a torch have an inbuilt uh, Onyx export method, so that would directly you know export the model uh, to the Onyx format. And also to make sure that uh, that you have a dynamic access. So if it is not set, so what happens is that once you have uh, set your torch uh, the dummy variable. So it will only take only that specific format. So you, if you want to, uh, you know, use uh, the batch size, maybe 10, 20, 100,000. So that would, that would fail. So you have to set that dynamic axis so that, so that would rearrange that shape based on the, the batch size that you provide. So uh, the input batch size would vary according to the batch size that you provide and uh, even simply the output that says as well so once you have saved it and you would have this uh, iris dot onyx extension available now what you want to do is uh, you want to run your code so now i have just uh, the iris data set that i have i have simply picked uh, some random data for the class 0 1 and 2 and uh, from that iris data so yeah from that iris data so what I'm doing is that I have to create an inference version so where my own model is saved. And once I have created this session, I would pass this uh, test array to firstly, I would have to create the inputs and the output name. And from that, I have to run this inference session right. So I would provide my input and output. And the uh, input format, I would be passing this, like whatever the data that I'm passing in here. Then later, this is a simple, uh, you know, like the Prince classes. Just let me run it so that you would see. Okay, uh, let this in this. So, uh, if I run it again, so I have the classes. Let's suppose that I'm copying this uh, two more times. Two more times. That should be here. Sorry, it so that would create a loop. So when you run it again, so you see 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, 1. Okay. So uh, this is how you uh, you know run your inference model. The advantage is that like Python is considered considerably really slow, but very easy to deploy your machine learning models. And if you are maybe familiar with Java or C++ or you want to work with 
of the web, app uh, web application or mobile devices, the choice is uh, limitless. You could run it on GPUs, CPUs, or different servers. I mean, that gives you the uh, you know flexibility of running into different languages from different models. So a unified um, you know uh, conversion is enough for you to you know run the very model onto different platforms with a different for a different framework under single unified environment. Anyway, thank you for watching.